omega-3s. Okay. I don't know how much faith a person has in Wikipedia. Okay. But on the Wikipedia page, I went to omega-3 down at the bottom of the page. It gives some examples of some of the things that are out there, omega-6s to omega-3 ratio. Okay. That's a good one. The one thing I found was was, uh, corn oil. Okay. The ratio of 6 to 3 is 46 to 1. That's crazy, right? Now, I believe, just because of what I believe, I believe that directly correlates with the aspects of the amount of, of the accelerated amount of of grain-fed animals being produced since the 70s. Absolutely. Which directly correlates to all your cardiovascular health issues and such. Yep. So... It was just kind of a point of awareness. I it's it a big cool. problem. You know, they even give fish omega-6s. And, and, you know, fish typically will eat algaes and, and plankton, which are very high in omega-3s, and that's why fish are a good source of omega-3s. But these days you've got farm-fed fish, yep. and the farm-fed fish are given corn and soy, for that matter. Absolutely. So even, fi- even fish that are supposed to be omega-3 foods aren't as high in omega-3. Certainly grain-fed cattle is a big, big problem. Uh, your point is very well taken, not to mention all the vegetable oils that we're eating. And, and you know what? Heart disease and inflammatory diseases and degenerative diseases, I'm not just going to tell you they're exactly linked to excess ingestion of omega-6s, but I'll tell you what, since we figured out how to make vegetable oils, mass-produced vegetable oils industrially, uh, which are high in these omega-6s, that's when uh, our chronic degenerative disease epidemic hit. And I don't know if it's a, a directly 100% causal link, but certainly, certainly there is a connection. Point well taken, Kurt. Thank you. 46 to 1 is ridiculous. Yeah, and I don't know if it's directly related, but there are, well, there's a component. depending on where you go for your research. I mean, there's all kinds of research that goes, you know, both ways, I guess, a little bit. But a lot of the charts that you see, you know, the mid-70s, boy, it sure it sure seems to be a relatively similar pattern. Anyway. Doesn't it? Well, so the more corn oil we eat, the more soy oil we eat, sesame oil we eat, uh, omega-6 oil is not sesame because we don't really eat sesame oil that much, but soy oil, corn oil, safflower and sunflower oil, canola oil, these are all oils that have very high omega-6 to omega-3 contents, and it's a big, big problem. Omega-3 oils are not anywhere near as common in the food supply, and that's why you'll find that omega-6 is the, that most of the processed foods that we eat are omega-6 rich foods, and including not even, not even just the oils, but like you say, uh, dairy products, meat, uh, fish as well can be uh, out of balance with omega-6s. Thanks well, for bringing that up. The you, you are what you eat kind of deal there. You know? Well, fats are even more exemplary of you are what you eat because those don't get transformed. Usually a, a, when you eat protein, when you eat sugar, that gets broken down into its constituent parts. But when you eat fats, those get used as is. Uh, cells will use whatever they can find, and there's no processing, there's no breaking down of those fats, and they, you end up with cells that have dysfunctional fats. Even worse than omega-6, uh, uh, the balance of omega-6s to 3s is the processing and the hydrogenation and the trans and the transesterifications and these weird kinds of franken fats that are created. Those get incorporated in the cell membrane. I spent the last couple of weeks talking about how important the cell membrane is. If you have these trans and hydrogenated fats incorporating your cell membranes, there's no way you can be healthy and there's no drugs or doctors that can make a difference. I agree. Thank you for, thank you for bringing agree. that up. What well, else? Just, couple, just uh, real quick here. Sure. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'd like to find some information about, you know, what about GMO versus non-GMO type of deal? You know, is a, is a non-GMO corn ratio maybe a little bit different? And the other thing is, are you ever going to be in Iowa? I love Iowa, especially in the summertime. Oh, my God. I'd love to see, I'd love to see yeah. something that you're putting on sometime. Where are you in Des Moines? I'm north of Des Moines, about an hour and a half. I love Iowa, man. I, you know, I, I'll put that on the list because I'm, I'm thinking of going to Chicago. If my friend, uh, my friend Rich, can get that together, Rich Riley, I know you're listening out there, Rich. Uh, if we can get it together, we're going to do a talk in Chicago, and then I'll pop in. I'll stop by Iowa. I'd love to come to Iowa. Thanks for the invite. I, I appreciate I keep that. Tabs on your post and stuff like that, so I'll be watching in case you post something up and read it for you. Good deal. Thanks for thanks for bringing those fine points up and have yourself a beautiful day. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay, take care, Kurt. Okay, uh, let's see. 855-660-4261 is our number. Got some lines open for you. Let's go off to Canada and say hello to David. What's going on, Dave? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I was. I, I just got a... Well, for one thing, I'll just tell you. My uh, A1C test uh, in January was 10.1. And uh, I I went on the healthy body sugar pack, and in April, the end of April, my A1C was 
That's awesome. And that's all you did differently? Yeah. Just the Healthy Start Pack? Uh, well, no. I, I also went on uh, the 10 good foods, 10 bad foods things. Very nice. That's Dr. Uh, no, I'm, uh, yeah, Yes. And I'm not eating, uh, well, I'm not eating the the eggs they recommend, but still I'm uh, I'm watching that stuff. And uh, But um, my blood pressure hasn't dropped, and okay. I'm doing Ultimate Daily as well. Okay, let's get you, and, you want to, let's, let's drop that blood pressure, okay? Blood, uh, elevated blood pressure means a couple of things. Number one, it means sticky blood, blood that's not moving correctly, so the heart has to pump harder. And number two, it means uh, it means that there's some kind of stress or emergency response going on in the body. It's really, that's what you want to focus on. What is the emergency that's going on in the body? Now, I take it you're a diabetic. Is that correct? Or you've been diagnosed as a diabetic? Well, oh, yes. Okay. So that and, can put... Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was... Uh, and I've had some... Some ulcers on my on my one foot. Okay. Well, these are all signs and, of diabetes, and and you know you've only been working on your on your nutrition now for like three or four months, so you got to keep going on. You sound like yeah. you're probably in your 50s, 60s kind of thing. Is that right? 70. 70. Okay. So you know you've had a lot of decades where you haven't done anything for your body. So now we're oh, just yeah. starting to. Tr- we're, okay, fine. You know we can turn things around. The body's very resilient, and you're starting to turn okay. things around. Give I it got, some time. I got to tell you another thing too. Yeah. Now, I don't know how it's affecting. Hang tight. Uh, now. Dave, can you hang what? on? We got to take a break, David. Okay. Hang tight. I want to hear what you have to say, and we'll finish up with your call when we come back. Is that all right? All right. Don't go away, Dave. All right, got some lines open for you. If you'd like to get on board, 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll come back with David from Canada and get you some more good health information on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. There's a guy named Dr. Wallach who is anything but your typical doctor. Both a veterinarian and a naturopathic physician, Doc asks, why is this country spending more money on health care by far and ranking 50th in health and longevity worldwide? Doc believes that people should empower themselves with a basic understanding of nutrition, taking charge of their life, and obtaining optimal health and longevity through nutrition, not by toxic pharmaceutical drugs that lead to side effects that require more expensive and toxic pharmaceutical drugs. Talk about being dependent on drug companies to our own destruction, no less. This is clearly a deadly recipe. Doc Wallach's message is resonating with an increasing number of Americans who are waking up to all the government and big pharma manipulation of our health and health care system. I like what Doc Wallach is saying and doing to enlighten people about health care, and I've joined forces with him to help this tireless crusader spread his message. Visit BrightSideBen.com and listen to Doc Wallach's deadly recipe lectures. It makes a lot of sense, and I invite you to join our BrightSide Ben team. Go to BrightSideBen.com. That's www.BrightSideBen.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Americans have always been ready to defend, to serve, and to honor those who defended and are defending all of us. So this month, the Freeze-Dry Guy honors and serves Americans with our meat, rice, and potato sale. Our unit includes four number 10 cans of quality Mountain House cooked diced beef, ground beef, diced chicken, white rice, and two cans of FDG dehydrated diced potatoes. 158 servings per case unit. And during the Freeze-Dry Guy's meat, rice, and potato sale, get one case for only one 
$1,279, two cases for only $355, or get three cases for only $515, and all come with lots of valuable freebies. For details, click freezedryguy.com and hurry. Sale ends soon. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Plus, free shipping to the lower 48 states from the Freeze Dry Guy. The finest freeze-dried and dehydrated foods available anywhere for long-term storage. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. G-C-N. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, talking to Dave in Canada. Uh, real quick, Dave, what's going on, my friend? How can we help you today? Well, I'm, uh, as, I sa- as I was saying, I, uh, when, I was, when I was quite young, five years old, I contracted rheumatoid arthritis and, and became a cripple. Oh, and nice. then I was healed of that. Okay. I was, uh, became able to run and jump and walk. And what did so you do on. to heal yourself? I I I didn't heal myself. Ben, uh, I I was prayed for. And Praise God. Healed. Okay. Okay. Good. Yes. Amen. Okay. And anyway, as 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 uh, so, there's you know I've carried a lot of stuff around, and I definitely didn't uh, eat right and so on. All right. But well, you we can were going to tell me about getting the blood pressure Yeah, down. yeah. Let me get your blood pressure down for you, okay? A couple things. First of all, you want to think about thick, sludgy blood. And second of all, you want to think about some kind of emergency that's getting into the body. It's great that you turn things around as dramatically as you have. You cut your A1C down in just a few months. But you got a long road to go here, and you want to keep going. So number one, for, for the thick, sludgy blood, as well as for the emergency, you want to focus on the digestive system. Chances are pretty darn good that your digestive system is whacked out from seven decades of not doing the right things, especially if you had rheumatoid arthritis when you were a kid. So start to look for digestive symptoms, diarrhea, constipation, bloating, gas, heartburn, pain, nausea, queasiness, whatever, and then link those up to foods and eliminate those foods. That's the first important thing you want to do. Second thing you want to do is you want to start to wean yourself away from any fast-burning carbohydrates, sugars, breads, pastas, cereals, bagels, all those things. None of that. Okay, good. And then start to take in more protein and more essential fats. Now, if you're doing the Healthy Start Pack, you're probably doing three of those EFAs a day. I, I would go up to nine essential fatty acids a day, and I would go get myself some good whey protein. I like one called nat- uh, Natural Factors, which is actually Canadian whey. Uh, you could probably get that in Canada. And do about one to two, even up to three scoops a day in divided doses. You always want to divide your protein up into uh, divided doses. Stay on that Healthy Start Pack. Make sure you're sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. And then I would throw in the Sweet Ease product, take those after meals, and I would also to throw in the ultimate enzymes, and I would add in the BioLumen Nightly Essence. Be do, I'd be doing uh, three in the morning, three at night. Also, the Z Radical, two capsules of that a day. It wouldn't hurt you to add in some of the OPC Selenium product, one to two, even up to three capsules a day. And then last, and most certainly, I'll let you, I'll let you uh, chime in here in a moment here. Uh, but most certainly not least, last but most certainly not least, please, 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 this is so important, and don't underestimate the importance of this. 
uh, practice deep breathing techniques. Every day, spend two to three minutes at least doing slow, deep breathing. If you have an iPhone or a smartphone, get an app called um, Bio Breathing or My Calm Beat. And one last thing, uh, hydration and water is a great strategy for all blood sugar issues. It can help you dilute your blood sugar, especially if you eat, you go off the wagon and eat the wrong kind of foods. Okay, real quick, what were you going to say, Dave? Oh, I was going to say, it, it, it's, uh, I'm finding it expensive, but I did get some people signed up. Nice. But, uh, 